Welcome back to CNC Equipment YouTube channel. If you've not seen, we've been working on a big old international dresser TD25, and this is a blade from it. So, uh, in this here video, we're going to do some pin and bushing work, do a little line boring. But it's too cold out Outside. here. Outside. No, no. Oh. I was hoping it was getting warmer. We've been saving this for a warm day, and it's not warm today. Huh. Fortunately, we're going to pick this dude up and set it inside here. You guys will see the dozer that it's going on. If you've not, you can get caught out, caught up down below by going down in the description, clicking on that, and watching those videos. But, uh, we're going to try to fire the old forklift up here today. She looks cold way over there. Very. Kind of like Mason's truck. Yeah. She is drifted in. And somebody did a good job of plowing this parking lot. I think they nailed it. You know, it's really windy back here. It's drifting in. It's just like the shed. Hey, look, here's a Ford Ranger. <laughs> is that your Ford Ranger? Uh-uh. Whose is it? Uh, it ain't Randy's. Oh. <laughs> Mason <laughs> says he can jump that snowbank. Bob, you got it. I don't know how it drifted in. Me neither. So this is going to be like Walker, Texas Ranger. You're going to put it in four low and ram it over it. Yeah. Well, give, it, give it the power wheelie. Let's see oh. it. Yeah, I'm not ready. Power wheelie. Super skipper! Mason, something's different between me and you. Ah. You're cold? Huh. You're all dressed like it's fall. I'm dressed like it's winter. Ooh, yeah, there she is. Okay, bub. Gotta chain her up. Ooh! Oh. Mason, you're doing a good job! Keep up the good work, Bob. Oh, the power of the tailor. To the inside. that thing warm up it is freaking cold out there let her melt off and then uh, we'll get in here and see what we're gonna do exactly we got some play in some of these pins and stuff so there's the tractor this thing is going on if you guys have not seen it there it is we've been doing uh, undercarriage work to it weld on new grousers 
been doing some track frame work and stuff like that so make sure you go watch those videos but after this warms up we'll jump back on it all right first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take this one arm loose we'll pop this pin off I know that pin has play. I'm pretty sure that one does. We'll get that one out, kind of wiggle it in and see what's going on here. I know this lower pin has a bunch of play in it too. I'm just going to kind of keep taking stuff apart as we go and see what we need. Your, bi your biceps are full? Is that what you just said? Hey! Uh, hey! This is, this is a family show here, boys. Hey, his biceps are getting full. I'm not backed up against the heater. This looks like a left handed. Oh! Do you have left handed? There you go. You're supposed to work smarter, not see how I flipped that on him, Tucker. I'm gonna get, I'm in the kill zone right now. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. Yeah. Dude, you lift, bro. Oh. That's in the next bay. Let's go look at it. It's probably, it's probably all like. Perfect. Give me some rock tape. Okay, I'm going to click operator. Oh. Camera operator. Let's leave one block in there so you can get out. That's bound up. Definitely wore out. Nah, she can get it. The pins are tight. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's just disappointing. <laughs> that means we gotta take it apart. Uh, so the pin's super tight and the boss here, but it's got wear inside there, so. To be expected. We just gotta get that pin out. Nothing power loop can't take care of. Mm -hmm. Got those ox glands out, they didn't want to come out. It's a little hazy in here. <sighs> That's hot. Yeah. So we're gonna let those cool down a couple minutes. Those pins are stuck, obviously. And uh, we bored a hole, clean through them. You guys can see. 
so it ought to relieve the pressure so we can knock them out. Come out when it's hollow. Pin, pin, long pin, whatever. Go nowhere, Kevin. half the blade apart we're going to leave that half on there that way it holds all this up we'll just kind of do one side at a time so wasn't quite as bad as expected we've got a uh, bushing in here we've got a new bushing um, we'll cut that one out here after a bit and put a new bushing in and the rest of these do not have bushings um you guys seen us board the side of those pins out with that oxy lance it's a pretty wicked tool um my plan is we'll probably just actually put that big crossbar back in there and we'll probably just line bore these out 
a little bit oversized and we'll make new pins a little bit oversized um, since there's no bushings in these, this uh, link here. I just made these out of good hardened steel. So, like I said, there's no bushing in there. Um, so we'll probably just put those in there. Line board oversized. Originally, these were three inches in diameter. So we'll go whatever it cleans up with. On the line board machine, I do know this cylinder over here has bushings in it. Um, so we'll put bushings in the cylinder. They're replaceable. So, but uh, that'll be after we get this side together. So we've got these uh, strut links here. We took this one out here. You guys just seen. It has um, adjuster on it. There's big threads right there, so I'm gonna try to get this all freed up. This is just a ball here at Pivots. There's shims you can take out when it gets uh, worn, so that's good. We still got some room there to play with, so I think we'll get this all sprayed up. Try to get this piece out so we're not messing with this big piece. So we're gonna have to bore this part out here. Just locking up. It's got a bad spot on it. Bar. There you go. Tight spot. You want to go back or? threads by something wow. <laughs> two per inch <laughs> i ain't very happy though looks like a four inch four branch <laughs> <laughs> We got that thing out threads look good it's laying down on the floor we did just flip this over um, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this bushing out of here i'm gonna cut a slit down the side of it with the torch real carefully i'll probably go on the bottom here um when that blade pushes push your nose there's um less meat there so i'll probably go in here somewhere cut that out and hopefully we can knock it out we'll see if that thing is out of around too much a lot of times i'll get oval just from pushing and hammering so hopefully that's not the case here so Couple slits in it. Not looking too bad. 
We have to get that frozen or bad thing with our area, we don't have any liquid nitrogen. I think you're selling the next hand over, but maybe we should call and see if we can find some. What about a fire extinguisher? You know how cold those get? I don't know. CO2? Can we do like a science experiment or something? Sure. Got a tent gun. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it out in the snow. Oh yeah, too bad it's not last week when it was minus one. All right, Mr. Kevin's got her boring machine out. We're gonna get all that stuff out and uh, go from here. I guess we'll start on this one right here, huh? Since it's flipped up. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we got our boring machine set up here. Uh, Kevin blasted, that's actually the piece with the threads. It goes in that rod, it goes to that part right there. So we kind of put it in there. Our plan is we're gonna line bore through everything all at once. Originally this was three inches. So we're just gonna line bore, we're gonna oversize everything and make an oversized pin like I said earlier. So we've got a heck of a rigging going on here for sure. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna tighten all this stuff up. We've got our cones in here, kind of centered everything up. Once we get everything tightened up, we'll slide the bar out, take the cones out and then put our machine on and weld it up just like that. It's just that easy. Boom. So uh, our friend Tucker gets off school here at noon. I actually did call our local gas supplier. Last time I called them, they did not have liquid nitrogen. So they say they got it. So Tucker's gonna pick up a vat of that. So we'll have a little science experiment with that later on. It's gonna be fun. I've never used it. I know, right? We have to start Googling. Hmm. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get this boring machine on here and let her rip. take a while. That's our first pass here. We had to put a little bit of weld in the bottom. I nicked it with the uh, oxy lance. So. How'd you do that? I don't know. It might have been that big bowl of fire that I had going. Hmm. Well, there's not much to see here, folks. We're going to let it keep trucking. We got to this piece, we're now cutting that center piece that we got welded in there. So far, so good. So, you guys seen uh, NSR National Standard just sent us another uh, shipment of welding wire. We've been using them for a little bit, been super happy with it. I know our, our dock got that spool empty. We're going to use some of this wire later on to weld up that pin up there that fits in the blade there. We do have some new pin material coming for this, so we'll see how slick it lays down here in a second. Alright, we're on our second cut. First one did okay. This one, uh, we're taking quite a bit. This may clean it up enough, so I think it's going to be alright. Nice shavings coming out. Keep on trucking. Alright. We got us one new hole. We got one little tiny spot right up there. It's nothing major. But to other than that, we're gonna call that good. That little spot's just right in here. Um, now we just gotta wreck all this stuff apart. Tucker should be here shortly with our liquid nitrogen. We'll probably drop that bushing in there and then we'll flip everything up. We've got a line bore this hole and then that one up there. Now's the fun part. Oh, look at that. Why we let, do you know why we let you weld them instead of me? What's that? That way they'd break off. They're supposed to break off, Bubby. You only weld them on the two sides. I got a little carried away on these. All right, we're going to get the rest of the welds. Broke off there, but hey, I got one over here too. I left it because it got hard. 
I think I may have welded it too much. Uh -oh. I think she bent it. Oh, it's an unbreakable hammer. Did you see that? Unbreakable. Unbreakable. All right, while we're waiting on our friend Tucker to bring the nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, we're gonna go ahead and put, so there's that rod that we just bored out. That was the center piece we had welded in there. All turned out awesome. Got it all cleaned up. So we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this. Gonna spray some anti-seize up in here for the, oh gosh. The smell of vision would be awesome. This stuff it? stinks. We're gonna spray that too. Oh, I, that's so <laughs> funny. You know when the lost lady shows up, I'm gonna, Woo! I'm gonna start spraying this. We're gonna live feed. Where are we doing this at? Put it in there. <laughs> oh, seal it off, hurry. It's got a big crack to get out of. <sighs> this stuff is nasty smelling. It's gotta be good though, right? Who's coming out to see us? Uncle Scott. Come over and get you wet for this, bub. <laughs> That's nasty. Well, you wish you could just smell it on camera, huh? Yeah, get you a whiff of that. Smells like dookie. I say they go to the sewer plant and add aluminum paint, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Tucker showed up with some liquid nitrogen. We're going to put it in the old paint pot that Kevin has here. I've never, never used this stuff before, so keep in mind if we're doing something wrong, let us know. It should probably be insulated. We've got it's our. Gonna be too late. We've got our. What's it? What's the? Uh, oh, I can't think of the sci science guy. Bill Nye. Bill Nye. Yeah. What do they call it? What do they call scientist? Yeah, yeah. We got Bill Nye, Jr. Yeah. here. <laughs> or a guinea pig. Yeah. You don't need those yet. So uh, you're gonna pour the stuff in there, and then I'll uh, set this on there and we'll let it sit there for a little bit. That just picks up off air. Oh, it does. Oh. That looks cold. So we've got like uh, three more bushings to do, so. <laughs> oh, it sounds cold. How much you want in there? I don't know how much is in there. Pretty good amount. That's probably enough in it. Oh yeah. It's angry. It is. Ooh. Look at her. She's spewing out. Like Mamaw's pressure cooker. Doo -doo. How long are we supposed to let sit in there? Maybe somebody can tell us in the comments, but we don't know. Maybe too late at that point. Well, for the next time. So we can pour that back in there, right? Is that right? Somebody please tell us, because we don't know. Like when we get done with it? There. I think when that starts, stops bubbling, it's done though, right? That was bubbling in the bronze though. Was it? We can always have you get more. Hey, here we go, boys. Here we go, that looks cold. Oh, he's real cold in there. Sledgehammer. Yep. Could have went better but it went in <laughs> i think one of the problems is that hole is slightly egg shaped it actually got easier the farther it went in so it was cold so we did pour the stuff back in there not sure if you're supposed to do it but we did but we did so if we did something wrong there let us know um we're gonna flip this over we're gonna start boring on this side 
Uh, Tucker's gonna weld on a couple pins that we're gonna reuse. We did get our steel in to make this pin here, so. Are you uh, ready there, King Kong? Watch that bar don't get you. Just a big old chunk of steel. Look at that finesse. Good job. Ew. Did you get the anti seize on you? On me. You can have it everywhere. Oh, jeez. All right, we got the other upright. We're going to do the same thing. Line it up. We're going to bore through everything all at once. Tucker's welding it on. We're just going to tack it there, and then we can cut the tacks when we're done. So, yeah. sounds like good clean metal. Always make sure to wear your safety glasses when you're welding. That's right. Come on, happy. All right. Almost there. We took one big monster cut that we shouldn't have. We were throwing lace potato chips on the ground. We had burritos. We were getting with the program. Probably getting a little carried away. But. I think we got it. Mr. Tucker is uh, doing a little welding on the face. I'll show you that here in a second. It wore a little bit when it was rubbing on that. Yeah, we're almost there. Looking good. He's getting that built up. Did we make it yet? So, Mr. Mason's been over here working on this thing pretty much all day. Took out the old air conditioner. Got new fuel lines. You guys remember it kind of had a hard starting problem. Got new fuel lines from the tank. Looks like you've got a new one to the pump up there. So we ought to be good on that, huh? We need to make sure we're bled out too here before we start it here later on. It looks better now. All right, got to be clean for the viewers. Got that done, bored out. End up about three and a quarter. We're cutting some steel way over there to make new pins with. This over here, been doing a little welding on this morning. So we just put this new bushing in here. Um, it's like three, th three inches and 15 thousandths over. So these holes here were wallered out about a hundred thousandths oversized. So what we're gonna do, and see I welded this side up. We do have a bore welder in there, but it's kind of a pain to set up just for one hole. Let's see if we can make this make sense, but what we're going to do, we're going to make a step pin. We're going to go through here and bore this side out to the factory three inches. And then we're just going to oversize that one probably like 3.100. Then we'll take this pin, we'll actually make a step in that pin. Drive that pin through that way. So this end's going to be bigger. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's going to be bigger to that bushing than from the bushing over. It's going to be the standard three inches. It's quicker and easier. And if anybody ever is going to take this out, more than likely they're going to drive it out that way because it's really hard to hit them this way. So if somebody does take it apart, it should fall right out. Then they'll see that some uh, hill jack's been in there and made a step pin, right? I'll sign my name but it's going to work perfectly fine. It does not matter. So it's going to save us probably an hour or two, probably two hours of welding cutting. I don't know. But that's what we're doing. So um and then that one i think we can just oversize the pin and everything clean it up and we should be good to go so we've got to get this contraption set up it's going to be kind of tricky setting this thing up um against this blade here but i'm sure we'll figure out some kind of rigging we get that all done we'll be back all right mm -hmm. all right we got her set up bolt welded to a bigger nut and it's gonna be awesome I feel sorry for the people that's got to take that off. <laughs> Kevin got his side on there. Get these little cones help center everything up. All right. Hopefully it don't fall off. We've been doing good so far. <laughs> We're going to put a longer bar through there and then our boring machine. Let her rip. All right, we got our long bar in. I don't know how we got this lucky, but there is daylight between that bar and that piece of metal. I was gonna cut it, I didn't care. How lucky did we get? Well, Bob. We need to go buy us a lotto ticket today. All right. Hey, we were just talking about that. 
Yeah, if, I mean, if you win the lottery, we're just going to do whatever we want. And you say we're going to work on El Caminos all day long. That's right. It's going to become El Camino Ranch. I'm where all the ponies get set free. And you said, I'm going to ask you to do something. You say, no, I'm just going <laughs> to drive and work trucks all day. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't boy. think so. We I could only, think that's going to happen. We could only wish. I think you're good. I'll set this big Mondo machine on here. Did we screw up here again? No. Nope. We're just, we're just, yeah. It was like destiny, bub. It was. I think we're, a rod might be. Yeah. Stopping, that's beautiful. All right, Mr. Kevin set up, cutting away. So I got that side cut out. I may jump in here and start making some uh, pins for this here. All right, in here, buzzing away with the old Monarch lathe. This thing's like a 1942 model, I believe. Uh, made November of 42. Still trucking along. So originally, this is a pin that goes through the crossbar. Originally that pin would have been three inches. We're making this one about 3.160 since we bored completely through both those holes. It should be about the final pass. All right, got the pin machined out. We're gonna put it in the vise here and drill. We'll put it in the mill here and drill a bolt hole in it. I think it's gotta have a 5 8 bolt to go through it. Got it all centered up. I got that pin cutting over there. How'd you do, Mr. Kevin? Over there. Did you get it all cleaned up? Yep. Ready to tear down, huh? That's right. All that work for just a little bit of cutting. Yeah. But she's brand new. We'll take it out, get some good measurements, and we'll uh, make the pin to fit. So the pin I've been working on goes right under Kevin's little PlayStation box there. And go see this one here. All right, got that pin all done. Should go in here. It's pretty nice. And it slides through here too. Oh yeah, that'd be a nice fit. Usually put about 15, 20 thousandths clearance on stuff like that. Because nothing's gonna be perfect when it goes back together. What? You know what I mean? So that factory bushing, it has like 25 thousandths clearance on it. All right, Clarence. Oh, this is where you somebody... turned down your machine. This is where somebody hated me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Stuff's looking good. Is that one I wheeled it up? Looks good. Good enough for who it's for, right? That's right. All right, he's gonna get all tore down, ground up. Turned off, and uh, so that pin there, we're gonna use the original pin. We're actually gonna weld it up. Um, we could make a new one, but the weld is pretty tough stuff. So we already got this side done. I'll have to weld this side up and turn it down. This is the one we're gonna put that step in because he's got that one side bored out bigger. Got Mr. Mason welding. 
that this can made. I did so, that. It's almost like factory, ain't it? I did that. It's just standing in the air on its own? Yeah, I did that. I made it a little bit longer, it don't matter, so. I like it. I like it a lot. From the factory. We did it! All right, we got our step pin made. It's still warm. Pits through the hole good, through the bushing. So, what's that tree doing? I don't know. It's welded. Love that pecker? So our plan is, I don't know if I said this earlier, we're gonna put this together, put a cross link in here loosely, then we're gonna drop that down, put it in here, weld it, and then uh, line bore that out. We'll be all done with this side, finally. Keep this going. Is supposed to have the yeah. Easy, easy. Whoa, we got to step over here. We got to get up on. Hit it a little bit right there. A little tap. Oh, yeah. We need to come up here. A little floor jack. A little bit more. A little more. Well, give her a little tap there and see if it'll jump up on that shoulder. Uh -uh. What do you need on this side? Feels like you're there to tap it real lightly. There you go. Uh, up with the jack a little. Whoa, tap it right there. Ooh. That was money. All right, we just gotta get the keeper on there, and that's in there. Can we take the board back out? Yeah, you sure can. That is beautiful. All right, putting the cross brace in. Stop right there and let's get these bolts in. Get a bolt. New bolts, anti-seize on them. This originally had a couple shims in them. I took it out, hoping that this would uh, fit in there. If we need to put them back in, we will. Okay, boys, time for a pin. Don't let her fall through. A little crooked. How'd it go? Hammer! My hand is gonna get chopped off. Oh, what will you do? You'll have to eat with your nubs. We'll get you. We can fabricate a fork. This is teamwork. Yes.
You did it. You did it. Yeah, you did it. Original. That's right, bub. All right. Almost made it. So I don't know if you guys can see, we lack just like a three thirty seconds of an inch of going forward, and uh, this bolt we put on is hitting. So Kevin's cutting the head off a little bit. We've got a floor jack under there picking that up. In turn, that pushes that forward. We get that lined up. Tucker's going to tack this thing in here, kind of like we just did here, and hold it. Then we're gonna line bore right through that. You should have bought that lottery ticket before lunch, bub. I know, right? That's, right. That's, that's still not too bad. Hey, you know what? We won't do that over there. Right. That's just like when you only get a couple of the numbers right on the Powerball and you get like eight dollars out of the eight million. That's all we got. All right, guys, we're getting stuff broke loose. We got a nice, clean hole all the way through there and a big, ugly Kevin on the other end. Wow. <laughs> we got to build this pin up some more, but uh, the other half, we got the one half done. Does she fit through there? Pull it out of the way, Tucker. This should be the finished side. I like it. It's gonna be nice. Well, boys, after two days, we got one side done. Hooray! So yeah, it took us two days to uh, do this side. That's line boring, one, two, three, four holes, making four new pins, building them up. You know that good stuff. You need to weld that one up here tonight, Tucker. Unless you want your friend Mason to do it. Mason's pretty good at doing that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna end this video here because I know it's getting super long, but we had all kinds of good footage for you guys to watch. We are not machinists. If you want to go watch an awesome machine shop type channel, go check out uh, Cutting Edge Engineering Australia. If you guys don't know, definitely need to go over and check them out. They've got an awesome, awesome channel, and he actually knows what he's doing, right? We know enough to get by. That's a pretty slick cut, if I may say so myself. Doing it that way, it's perfectly lined up too. There's no, uh, no issues there. You guys might see this all gommed up with weld. Originally, these pieces were threaded in here, and uh, any of these brands' machines, these threads get worn out after a time, and they start flopping around. I've even had them pull out of here, so usually you just get your blade set where you want it and weld them up solid. So that's why that looks like that. Well, yeah, that's going to be a wrap on this video. If you guys like this, do me a big favor. Go down below, hit that thumbs up button, that like button. Helps me out tremendously. You guys got any comments on anything? Any liquid nitrogen facts, uh, yeah. pointers, tips? We're going to be using it over there in the next video. We have three bushings over there. That cylinder over there has bushings in it and that lower arm like we did there. So the big problem I found, I've got the measuring that uh, bushing was egg-shaped about 5,000. So I think that was creating a problem with that. But uh, yeah, next video will probably be jumping over there. Then that side's gonna involve rebuilding that hydraulic cylinder too while we got it off. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And maybe one day we'll put it back on the dozer. I think uh, Mr. Kevin's gonna paint that here too. So make it great again. I don't see you smiling. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you next time. Can I say bye, Tucker. Adios. Did you say bye? Bye. Is that how you say bye? Not like this. It says he can launch it. Yeah, I want to see that. Well, not really, because we don't want to do that yet. We're going to have to pull him out, boys. Uh, it's taller. Been Ford Duff. We need that Ford Ranger song right now. Hey, no stranger! Well, you see more just a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, that's good. There ain't no way. Come on, bub. They're gonna have to get him headlights and everything. Oh, he's gonna try it. Oh, look at him. He's not even getting on it. Oh, oh gosh. Sissy stick. Really? What a what a bully. <laughs>